is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the June 26th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. How about we have an extraordinary one? Yep, let's go have an extraordinary day. And of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's where that two by four shift comes from, because when we can make that two by four shift, you know, life happening to us instead it's happening for us. It means we can find the gift in every single set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but way more important than that. During this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in right now, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there too. Let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers, Den, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow down 115 points, 26,611 is the print. That's about four tenths of a percent to the downside. Six tenths of a percent to the downside is the S&P off 19 points. NASDAQ 100 off 96. That's one and a quarter percent. Russell 2000 down just a tad. About three points out there. Semis off eight. That's a half a percent. Um, so it's mean and red across the board. Spot volatility index trading out at 1625. That is trading above its 50 day exponential moving average. We'll take a look at that and what the number is right now and what to look for at the close. Gold's trading up six bucks, silver down three pennies. Lights we crude up 14 cents, leading the charge to the upside out here. You've got Mesa Labs up 21 bucks or 9%. Boston Beer, Sam Adams up about 12. Chipotle up 10. To the downside is Amazon, no big deal. Uh, 23 bucks the downside, a little over 1%. Google's off 23, that's 2%. Shopify down 6% or 19 a buck a Roonies. So let's begin by taking a look at the markets. Try to understand, try to figure out, try to gauge whether this is just your garden variety retracement or was this a top that we saw yesterday, the day before, or so forth. So let's go try to figure that out. First, we take a look at the four indices out here. Let's start with the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and then the Russell 2000. What we can see out here is the clear consolidating pattern, especially when we take a look at, well, not to say especially, but if we take a look at the Dow, we've got the consolidation pattern. We see that inside the S&P 500. In essence, we see that inside the NDX 100, inside the Russell 2000. Not the same thing, but we do know that 1602 is a key level of resistance. These are the monthly time frame charts that we're taking a look at. Now let's go take a look at a daily time frame chart. Let's begin by looking at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's try to get the market breadth, uh, the feel of the market breadth. And what we see right now is we see a killer combo to the downside. But I don't know if this is where the end of day readings will be. And this is key. It's an end of day reading. We talked about this yesterday. You need to see both. What are both? You need to see the New York Stock Exchange, its advanced decline oscillator reading close below zero. Right now, it's minus 0.27. So it's basically on the zero number out here. We do have the spot volatile index trade above its 50-day. That number right now, that print is 1573. We're trading at 1619. If the advanced client oscillator closes below zero and the spot volatility index is uh, over its 50-day exponential moving average, what you should expect, anticipate, is a move up to about 1763. In the spot VIX, that'll go ahead and put pressure 
or should put pressure inside the New York Stock Exchange and continue to see that advanced decline oscillator reading go down below zero. Now, maybe where it's headed to is the minus 150 level. That's the oversold reading, whereas the plus 150 level, which we have now seen, a plus 150 failure out there. It always says to be on guard when you see those plus 150 failures. And the likelihood of the advanced decline oscillator reading going to minus 150 uh, if we see a close below zero, is pretty good, especially with that spot volatility being above the 50-day. Uh, so that's the first place, or that's a place, that's one place that you and I will look. But what we can say is if this was 4 p.m. instead of 1.11 in the afternoon, although subtle, well, I was going to say that, but now you're looking at my screen and you see a positive advanced decline oscillator, and it's at 1.28. So here we would say it's a draw. So it's really going to be the combination of both that you need to see in order to make a determination that this could be more than your garden variety type of retracement that is underway, especially with price being up near the top of those consolidation levels. Let's go take a look at item number two. Item number two on Stevie's shopping list. Well, that happens to be the TAS market profiles out here. If we take a look at them, I would say the TAS market profile that's muy importante to each of us is going to be the NQ. Now, it's not that the ES and the, and the ES and the Dow are both trying to form. I can't guarantee. In fact, I will not guarantee that these are going to be the numbers. Well, the same holds true for the NQ, but they are the Stevie Advanced Doppler Warning System that we have employed here to identify what the markets, what the message of the markets is, what buyers and sellers are trying to communicate to you and I at 1.12 in the afternoon. Well, here's the deal. With regard to the ES Mini, the resistance level now is 2969. The support level is 2881. I have reason to believe it's not 2881, but I'll let these market profiles go ahead and play out and figure this out. It likely takes the next 24 hours, but it could take longer. But here's what we know. If these profiles are cemented in stone, well, what we want to really be watching is the bottom of the NQ. The bottom of that box is 7649. We've already tag that level but we're trading just slightly above it right now at 7660 so 7649 is a key number if we see the advanced decline oscillator in nyse close below zero spot volatility index close above its 50 day nq close below the bottom of its profile brand new profile 7649 and assuming that this is the profile that i see later this evening as well well then what we have is a change in trend signal or a deeper retracement now that has already been signaled to you and i by the russell 2000 that is the panel on the very right hand uh, portion of my screen because yesterday was a close below the bottom of its new profile and that was 1539 we're trading at 15 32 out here the dow equity futures contract really there's not here's the deal as we take a look at these profile here's the here is the 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 um non here, here is the uh uh what do i want to say what word am i searching for i don't know what word i'm searching for here's the disconnect apparently that was the word i was searching for you could have a message where the nq and the russell 2000 which typically are the leaders of the gang uh would be signaling to you and i okay the message is ready to take a deeper retracement but in the case of the es mini and the dow equity futures contract that cannot be the case well it could be the case but it's not the case it can't be the case i said it can't be the case that means it can't be the case not until you see it close below the bottom of their profiles that's 26373 for the dow and as we said 2881 but stevie thinks it's a bit higher than that inside the es mini steve rhodes with tfnn the doctor the doctor of love we'll be right back TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week, live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So earlier in the uh, Dan, I had posted a uh, comment about the U.S. dollar index. Um, this is the uh, September contract, and what we can, what we note out here is the uh, is the A to B equals CD pattern that uh, was completing or was forming yesterday. I can't say completing because we never know whether the uh, C to D leg is going to be a one to one move or an expansion. Which is why when I go ahead and I use this tool, you'll automatically see it show you the one to one price level, which inside the U.S. dollar index was ninety five forty four. The one to 1.272.94.94. The way that you and I identify whether or not the pattern is complete is very simple. The cavalry arrives. In this case here, with the U.S. dollar index making an A to B equals CD to the downside, you're sitting there anticipating, knowing, knowing, knowing full good and well that the U.S. dollar index is down around the one to one level. And so you're knowing you're out here, you're looking for some type of bullish reversal signal. And that's what you have now today. You have that today as long as the U.S. dollar index uh, closes just one tick above its open, the open 9550. So anything above that uh, would then generate a key reversal session out here. Uh, this also happens to be a bull sash at the moment. But I don't know where the candle is going to close. But what I can say is that uh, today's action has exceeded yesterday's high and yesterday's low. We're at an extended condition. I'll say extended because we're completing the one-to-one -one level out here. And so this says that uh, the U.S. dollar index uh, looks like it's getting ready to move higher or at least bounce. Now, this is a Gartley buy pattern, by the way. Um, and if we take a look at, hey, look, I don't want, I'm not cherry picking or anything here. The A to B equals CD pattern, if we take a look at it to the upside, uh, here's the A to B equals CD pattern that it completed it was a one-to-one -one level almost perfect 97.71 was the number and here's your key reversal session by the way at the high on may 23rd hint 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 key reversal session bearish uh, engulfing candle as well and price got up to 97.71 now i don't know how the heck that works i just know that it does work so there it completes the perfect one to one a to b equals cd but more importantly you get that bearish reversal candle which has now led to the a to b equals cd to the downside now in the case of all gartley patterns let me just go ahead and remove them we know the two that are out there each gartley pattern has uh, five different potential outcomes out here 
That was the A to B equals CD. That was not a, to the upside. That was not a Gartley pattern. But I, I do want to take a look at the uh, potential Gartley buy pattern that is forming now. This way, for those of you that track the U.S. dollar index, you'll get a feel for what it is doing. Well, one, it has bottomed at this stage. At least it's given us the bottoming signal. That's assuming you get one tick higher today. This would then say the U.S. dollar index is going to go ahead and bounce or should bounce to the 0.382 retracement. That would be 92.26. The second level, if it can get past that, when it gets up to that level, it should allow people off of the elevator. That's normal. And others may wish to get on where to ride it up to the 0.618 retracement level would be 96.81. Look, you got to take things one day at a time, one moment at a time. But as we speak right now, you've got the bullish reversal signal inside the U.S. dollar index out there. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to try this. I don't know if I should try this. It really screwed up my system last time. It's back up. Uh, Mar Maria asked me a question earlier with regard to where did I think the ES Mini would actually pull back to. And I gave her the number inside. I gave everybody inside the Tiger's Den the first number of 2910. Now, where does 2910 come from? It's going to come from two different places. I always like when two places give me the same number, Maria, because it just says, oh, uh, really, we should pay attention here. So I had suggested to Maria that one of the places – which would just be, by the way, inside the ES Mini, nothing more than your garden variety retracement here because no levels of support, and I'm referring to the daily time frame, have broken. But here what we can see when we put up the ES Mini and we've got, uh, you know, we go back to, we got years, we had 25 years worth of data here. Uh, what you can see, the blue horizontal line is the daily horizontal trading range number. That's 2910. What Maria and I and now the entire world here at TFNN knows is that we've seen 39 opens or closes at that 2910 level out there. So that is the first place that I am looking for for support on this pullback inside the ES-Mini. Remember the ES-Mini and its daily profile we were looking at in my other system was giving us a 28 80 or something like that reading but i have two systems and unfortunately during contract rollover time periods which were in essence end while more data is being gathered out here you never sometimes the two twains don't meet meaning that we have different levels out here and the different level here maria on this chart which i think is especially during rollover seems to be a bit more accurate as new profiles are forming, is 29.10. That's a new bottom of the box out there. That's a black number at the bottom. And then you have a 29.18, Stevie's green line. Now, look, if the uh, if uh, if price continues to pull back, 29.18 won't be the number on Stevie's green line, but it's within this 29.10, 29.18-ish range out here. That would become support. Close below that, then that says, okay, you've got a change in trend. And quite frankly, the change in trend inside the ES Mini out here and says that price could pull all the way back to the breakout. Or that's that red dashed line. That gets us back to the June lows, basically, inside the ES Mini. But we have to take things one step at a time. And by taking things one step at a time, you did hear me say that the uh, Russell 2000, you know, was uh, wasn't pulling back that much. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, here's what you and I know. Uh, and we did notice that it was trading below the bottom of its task market profile. But what it's also doing right now is it's really testing this key level of support here. So if you take a look at its key level being Stevie's red line, but it was called 1531. We're trading at 1531.40 um, out here. 15, yeah, we're just going to stay with the 1531 number. So a, a clear close below 1531, you wouldn't want to be long the uh, Russell 2000 uh, equity futures contract, Russell 2000 indice, because now what we would have is we would have two key levels of support failing. And you've got Stevie's red line, which on the daily chart is actually red right now. You can see other areas where it's green. Green is good. Red is bad when you close below it because as you have a falling price oscillator below zero. And that, too, then brings the breakout area coming back to the uh, trading session at the lows of June out here. So um, hey, June's not over. It's only the 26th. Um, but these are the messages of the market. That is the interesting thing, because we don't have your traditional topping signals or topping patterns out here. Okay, take, for example, the NQ, if I pull this over. The NQ right now is trading below the close of bar number three. So what does that tell Stevie? That tells Stevie. It tells you. It tells each of us that this uh, TD setup nine count pattern that is uh, apparently underway will, will not be underway. If at the day, at the close, today's close, in the NQ, there's a close below 7702. 
So then that pattern goes away. There's no A to B equals CD that I'm going to draw out here because the retracement is just simply too shallow. So, um, but watch uh, the price level of 76.16 inside of the uh, NQ. That should be its next level. That's one level of support. Uh, the other levels out here, well, we'll go take a look at those. But we've got a caller on the line. It's Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Thank you for taking the call, Steve. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Uh, um, always happy to hear from you. And you want to talk gold. So tell us what you're taking a look at and how I can help you. I've been waiting for a potential top in this. I took a chance this morning and bought puts on the GLD. It's working at the moment. It looks like it's, you know, it's the, the candle at the moment is a shooting star, but I just wanted to see if there, the counts themselves and some of the other things you look at might indicate sure. that that's the case. So, so Brent, we're just about to go to a hard break. I didn't realize that when I, when I took you. So to be please uh, be patient. Just hang on through this break. Listen to Lovely oh, yeah, Commercial. No we'll be back, and we're going to hang out with Brent in Martinez, California, in just a few. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so we're talking with Brent in Martinez, California. We're going to take a look at uh, gold out here. I've got the current contract up on the screen. And uh, what, what Brent and I don't know is what the uh, candle configuration is going to be at the end of the day. Right now, it's not a shooting star. Before we went to break, it was. The reason why right now it's not is just simply because it's got too much wick at the bottom of that candle. 
Uh, but you're asking about, you know, going short, in essence. Uh, we can see that there is a couple of patterns, uh, Brent, that appear to be forming. Uh, first, if we consider that gold was trading in a consolidation, with the consolidation high being February 20th, uh, out there at the 1361 level. That price was tagged on June 14th and failed. And then it uh, was tagged again on the 19th and failed. We know we've got a fairly good bottom with three connections down here. Those connections being April 23rd, May 2nd, and May 21st. What that does, folks, is that gives us a measured move price projection, which would be in the 1448 level. We don't worry about getting too exact with it so far, the high today. 1442 out here. So, Brent, there's one pattern that is out there that we want to be paying attention to. The five hour time frame chart uh, out here shows one of those roads momentum indicator tops. That's where price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. Uh, you got that bearish confirmation on the five hour time frame chart uh, yesterday. You've had follow through today and price trading below Stevie's green line, which is 1425. So if this is a top and the five hour chart is what we're going to use right now to uh, measure the depth of the retracement. Right now, Brent, you're watching the 1402 level. 1402 is the top of the daily profile. That could be support, doesn't have to be. You'd want to see a close below that. If you do, then our eyes would shift to the bottom of that five hour time frame. It is possible that we get new profiles in the five hour time frame between now and whenever that might happen. Uh, but right now we have to go with the numbers, and those numbers would be 1402, as we talked about, below that 1375. And then finally, where the breakout began, uh, which is not unusual for something to pull back to the breakout area, and that breakout area is a price point of 1349. We define that breakout area on the five-hour chart because of its TD setup uh, count pattern uh, that is out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at that time frame. If I look at an intraday chart here for the uh, gold contract, uh, Brent, I don't have any kind of uh, a, bottom out, or a bottom out here. I do have the topping signal, which was price moving higher, doing less relative energy. So we had that in the five hour on the daily. And this would say to keep our eyes glued to its breakout area. Now, its breakout area took place at 11 o'clock in the morning. This is on June 24th. So this is yesterday. And that low is 1408.60. So that would be a level that you would want to see broken through trade below to give you that continued momentum to the uh, downside. As far as the daily time frame chart and trying to show some type of topping signal, we're going to have to wait to see what tomorrow's trading is like. What I mean by that is that uh, today looks like it will be day number, bar number eight of that TD setup nine count on the daily time frame. And uh, therefore, bar number nine would have to occur tomorrow or could occur tomorrow. And bar number nine would be in effect as long as there's a close above 1396.90 tomorrow. So we'll know that for the most part. Um, you know, by the end of tomorrow, whether that was whether today's high was the top, it could be tomorrow, it could be Thursday, or it could be not at all. But Brent, what I what I like about the uh, what I like about the trade is that your your back is up against the wall, so to speak. Not your back, obviously, but the back of uh, gold. And if we take a look at the uh, primary trading ranges inside of gold on a weekly basis. What we can see is this 1426.60 level was a key area. That's the swing point that takes you back, again, on a weekly basis, back to August 26th, beginning of August 26, 2013. And uh, that that high also, the high out there was 1434, which we've tagged. So a, a move back to key resistance that has held for the last six years, uh, give or take. Um, you're right up against that 1426 level out here. So I definitely get and understand the trade. If we were, Brent, if we were, and I'll just throw this out there and I want to get your input, if we were to say that the GDX might be uh, generating a signal for us, and what we know is that this has already completed a TD setup nine count. It did that yesterday, a slightly higher high today. And um, and price is pulling back. Now, its first level to pull back to is going to be 24.48. We've got to go look at profiles out here. But right now, that's Stevie's green line, 24.48. And below that, then price comes all the way back to its breakout area, which is down from the trading session of June, around June 13th at the 22.75. So anyone that's in the long trade, from a reminder, is just adjust your stop. Uh, so that's what I see, Brent, when I take a look at the daily, the weekly, the five-hour, the 
um, 60 minute time frame chart out there. Does any of that help you out? Absolutely, Steve. It always does. We're kind of on the same page. I mean, I, I just try to pick a point that risk reward wise has, you know, yeah, things in my, you know, best in my favor. And, and that, I felt like this morning I had a decent chance. I was willing to take a shot at it. And, like there's there's said, no there's, doubt. I mean, the setup, the, the setup is there. To, the setup is there. Point, it was either going to work or not. Yeah, yeah. No, look, uh, and that's what I that's what I love about the the, the trade that you took. Um, it's nice that you uh, did it with uh, options. You know, the uh, um, I mean, it's 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 all it it really all makes sense. So price up a resistance, and the cool thing is, is you'll know soon enough. Uh, like I would say, you'll you'll know by Friday, if not sooner, if um, if this was the and it, it was the right move. That that it even if the trade doesn't work, Brent, right? It was the right move. Yeah, you just have to give it a shot, and they don't all work. We know that, but try to give yeah. yourself the best chance, and that's all I can do. Absolutely. I did have a quick question for you before, as I kind yeah. of sign off here. I think yeah. you already might have looked at it yesterday. I think Ruby asked about it. I was looking at something that was potentially making a bottom. That's natural gas. I wasn't looking yeah. to trade that specifically, but there's, there's some uh, different stocks in that area that I have interest in. And so I, if you could maybe go over that one more time, I'd appreciate it and catch the whole thing. So. Yeah, Thank you no, very much for your gold analysis. Anything you can bet. do on that is much appreciated. Have a wonderful day, and always appreciate your help, Steve. Hey, my pleasure. Always good to talk to you. That's Brent in Martinez, California, who is taking the short side of the uh, gold contract, and for all the reasons that you and I looked at. So best of luck on that trade. So let's go take a look at natural gas for Brent and Ruby and anybody else that might be interested in trading that. I'm trying to get my other chart up. Things are pretty slow, so I can see after the show here, I'm going to have to reboot everything. I don't know what's going on. But uh, if you give me just a minute, I'm at the D's. I just got to get to the ends out here. Oh, you know, we've got a caller on the line. Let's go to Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Uh, thank you, Steve. Thank you for taking call. Sure, my pleasure. Uh, I uh, bought some puts yesterday in a put spread on Tesla, TSLA. It had a declining moving average, and it seems like every time it bounces up, it bounces up to that moving average and comes back. And it looked like it bounced against resistance, and I just wondered how far do you think it could fall? I, I just bought it till Friday. Got it. Okay. So if we take a look at Tesla out here, and we just start by looking at its uh, uh, TAS market profiles, Ron, let's start with that. If we take a look at the daily time frame, that's the chart that's up on my screen right now. Uh, support is 21023. This is a bullish structured box and resistance at 229. I see we've got a break coming. So uh, uh, just stick with me, Ron. We come back. We'll look at Tesla again, provide you with all the information that you need. This is Steve Rhodes with Thanks, TFRN. Sir. We'll be right back. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with Ron in Denver. We're taking a look at uh, Tesla. And uh, so, Ron, here's the first thing I noticed during that break on the uh, chart for Tesla, and it's the weekly time frame uh, that I am looking at. And uh, first, the very first thing I noticed was a couple weeks ago, this big key reversal bull sash candle out here on a weekly basis. This was the week of June 7th. And at the time that it was doing that, what Tesla was doing was making a longer term uh, move of a move, a measured move, coming all the way back to a prior swing point. It also happened to be an area where you had a TD setup nine count breakout pattern. And so price held that. From a weekly perspective right now, price is trading above Stevie's red line. That's at 217.40. And this would suggest to me on a weekly chart that price wants to continue to move higher. So I'm looking at the bigger, a slightly bigger picture than the daily first. And if I look at the weekly time frame chart, we can see the price is above the top of its box out there, which was 216.20. So now from two different uh, chart patterns, what we have are two confirming signals that Tesla wants to actually move higher. Whether it will or not, it's a different story. But right now, it's up above resistance, and you had that nice little bottoming signal. I don't really have a clear weekly pattern down there other than pulling back to support. But pulling back to support is so certainly something that we pay attention to. Now, the current profile in the daily time frame, that's the left-hand panel of my chart. Uh, this profile formed above the prior profile, meaning that the bottom of the current profile, which is 21023 was above the prior bottom and the top which is at 22929 is above the prior top so if anything i think at this stage here the message is your downside on this is in the 210 area now 210 happens to be uh, another signal coming from its daily oscillator on change line which is 21052 right now so i don't see a i see more of a move higher in tesla than i do a move lower um, and, 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 but the, now the trading range might just be sideways between 210 and 229 out here. So that's what I see when I take a uh, look at uh, Tesla out there. Okay. Does that help or what am uh, I missing? What, what, know, what, I got a small gain here. I'll just step out of it and play it safe because I, I didn't know where, it, you know, it, 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 it did hit that support and bounce a little bit today. It dropped off, hit that support and bounce. So maybe I'll just play and it safe if it didn't go through that support. And you're talking about support of, of a moving average line that you're using. Yes. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah, which so which okay. is fine. You know, if it bounced off well, again, well, the, the, the average, weekly. I mean, it, it kicked up against that moving average yesterday on mine. And okay. And that's why I put the put on. It yeah. It seemed like it seemed like it gets up there and, and, you know, hits that and then it bounces down. It did bounce down today, but went down to support and bounced back up. <laughs> yeah. I, at this stage here, you, you, you know, um, like I'd, I'd probably be more comfortable with the with the trade if if I saw some clear topping signals in the markets 
I don't. I really need to kind of see what the end of the day is. The weak okay. link out here in the markets, in essence, has been the Russell 2000. And although it's not a moving average, you know, it's tagged Stevie's red line and is trading above it. So, in other words, okay, price is no pulled back to a key support point. level. Thank you very All right. much. You bet. Appreciate it. Take care. Yep. Bye. Take care. That was Ron in uh, Denver. So back to natural gas out here. And so let's go take a look at the, um, I believe it was a September contract that we had up in natural gas, um, Brent. And actually, it's hard to see yesterday's candle. I'm going to pull over the continuous contract. In essence, it's going to generate the same message for you, although slightly different. What's that message? Well, first of all, price was moving lower, doing less relative energy. So you got the Rhodes momentum uh, indicator bottom signal yesterday when that bull sash candle formed. And uh, price also closed above Stevie's red line yesterday. So that's a beautiful thing. Ordinarily, what I would share with you is that price should go ahead and move up into its, uh, you know, its next daily profile. Well, price on the, on the September contract is trading below the bottom of that box, which is 2.287. So you really need to see price close above that. Uh, that's a bullish structured box to then suggest that price will go tag 2.373. But if we put up the other contract that is valid for trading right now, thank you, John, in the uh, den. If we take a look at the August contract, where are the profiles here? This is what I'm waiting for to punch up on the screen. See, we're within profiles here. Different contract, more information. And so, Brent, what I'm going to suggest to you at this stage, based upon yesterday's bullish reversal signal, is that you should see uh, natural gas trade up to first level is going to be 2.329. That's the center of its bearish structured box, different than the box that we're looking at for September. And above 2.32, 2.413, that would be the top of that profile. Any close above 2.413 is a change in trend message. So you got the bottoming signal, the rose momentum indicator bottom. Now what you've got are some other levels of resistance that need to be uh, dealt with as price continues to move higher. So I hope that helps you out with that uh, trade. Let's go to a couple of our uh, requests by uh, listeners out here sending emails. The first coming from Rob. Rob. Rob wants to take a look at – all right, I'm going to try to do this, Rob. I did this before. This is when my system kind of crashed out here. It wasn't because of you. It wasn't because of the system. It wasn't because of the symbol that you want, which is Newmont. Um, maybe I didn't type in Newmont. I just typed in new and uh, got a symbol out there. But I know you want N-E-M. So let's go take a look at this. Ron says, hey, I've got a position, a long position inside uh, Newmont. I wanted my take on a price target and exit. Uh, your initial target was around 42. Uh, that's to the upside. Been moving up your stop. Uh, using the expansion, using the average true range expansion of the 10-day true. That, that's, that's what you've got to do, Rob. That's, that's the best thing that you can do out here. But let's specifically take a look at Newmont. Let's come back and take a look at the three time frame charts out here. Newmont's one of these stocks that has been around for a long time. So we may be able to get... Uh, we may be able to get some horizontal trading range uh, data out here for you. So we're going we're gonna to try that. It looks like Stevie's got to do a little bit of work on that with a minute to go. Let me come back to the three time frame profiles. So you're above daily, above weekly, uh, headed above monthly, quarterly resistance at 39.46 out here. Now, no bullish re or bearish reversal signal today. Um, if anything, uh, you had that uh, nice uh, gap to the upside. Gaps are our friends on June 20th with volume, 19.9 million shares. But Here's what I really think you want to do. Today, it appears to me, um, uh, Rob, and to uh, Peak D in the den, that uh, today's going to be day number eight of that TD setup nine count. That says today's high could be the high. Um, maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it is a day after. For it to be tomorrow and for this count to take effect out here, you need to see it close tomorrow above 37.58. So you can just kind of note that on a pad of paper. What happens when you get to a nine count? Does it automatically guarantee that you're going to find a top or a bottom? Heavens to Betsy, no. But it is worth paying attention to. How worth is it paying attention to? Well, if you and I had been looking at Newmont on May 6, we would have said, geez, Louise, you've got a Rhodes Momentum Indicator symbol going, a signal going, price moving lower, doing less relative energy out there. Then you had a TD set up nine count that confirmed on that day. Then the next day you get the bull sash. Remember, we were just looking at um, – uh, natural gas, the bull sash reversal signal after Rhodes went to indicator bottom. 
This is how you buy bottoms. Never buy low, never sell high. Sell tops and buy bottoms. And this is how we do it. This is how we do it. So tomorrow could be. So just keep moving your stops up as we speak. Just keep moving your stops up. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Uh, Rob, I just want to go back to Rob's question. He was asking about Newmont. And another reason to really continue to move those stops, Rob, I know you're using the 1.618 expansion. I think I'd switch to the 1.272 out here or maybe even less. If we take a look at where, just using just using these tools, same tools that we use over and over and over again. If we use them enough and you see how they work, you might say to yourself, hmm, something to think about. Maybe I should even uh, go take one of Stevie's courses out there. In any event out here, we would have said uh, uh, coming off of the bottom that where Newmont was headed to was the price point, the first price point where it broke down back on July 27, 2018, out at 38.63. 3860. I can extend this green line. I don't need to for our purposes, but we know that price hit that level. And that's a reason to be uh, tightening up your stop out there inside of Newmont Mining. Another question coming in here from Hector, the fuel injector. Hector wants to take a look at Harmony. And Hector's question says, hey, Steve, oh, happy taco and thirsty Tuesday. Back at you. Uh, Harmony today, HMY's candle looks like a change of direction. What do you think? So it is certainly a key reversal session.
It is coming, and this will be a TD setup nine count out here. So the answer is yes. What does this say? Uh, Hector, this says that price should first pull back to 206. Below 206, there may be something else going on, a deeper retracement. Let's go take a look at Harmony. Let's put that up here instead of Newmont. HMY is the ticker symbol. So you've got one level where price should pull back to. Here we've got a 205. So that 206, 205 is very key level out here because 205 is the top of the box. 206 TV's red line. And a close below that says you'd be looking at about 183 on a pullback. So, yes, you've got a, uh, a uh, uh, TD setup nine count, bearish reversal candle. And uh, so just simply trade accordingly. Am I saying to short the mining equities out here? No, I did not say that. I did not say that. We need to see more than just today's action to be able to confirm that. Speaking about today's action, folks, stay tuned because your favorite polar bear, the world's favorite polar bear, my favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi, he'll finish things off from three to five. Have a great Tuesday. And we'll see you on Wonderful Wednesday.